An Aboriginal corporation in the Northern Territory expects to be employing more than 100 local Indigenous workers by the end of this year. The corporation opened Australia's first Aboriginal-owned and operated mine on the Gove Peninsula four years ago. Now it's working on a plan with NASA to launch rockets from a space base in northeast Arnhem Land. They say if you find a job you like, you'll never work again. And if the smile on Davis Wirrapunda's face is anything to go by, he's already got it made. A bit cool here. I like it. Davis is one of about 40 people employed at Gulkiller Bauxite Mine in northeast Arnhem Land. I drive a truck which is uh, moving overburden from sub pit to, um, to rehab. Most of the workers are local Yongwu people. I like working in the mine and I need to teach all the new trainers, teaching them for, for the mission, for driving. I mean, they get a lot of skills out of here, especially with big machinery operation, um, but they do a lot of work in terms of environmental stuff as well. This is Australia's first Aboriginal owned and operated mine. It's gone from strength to strength since it opened four years ago. Oh, ma major success. I mean, major success. Um, we've had our downfalls. I mean, <clears throat> our vision is one thing and then making it a reality is quite another. But certainly from where we are to what we've, what we've achieved, I mean, we started off with a you know, loader and a couple of uh, hired trucks to having our own fleet our own funny loaders, our own bulldozers, our own crushers, our own uh, ability to rehabilitate the mine. That rehabilitation involves workers collecting and propagating seed used to re-sow the ground after it's been mined. As you can see over here, we planted all these plants. It took us a couple of weeks and uh, I think was, we planted about 5,000 plants. Yeah, no, it's really good and uh, yeah, I really like working here. Yeah. It looks like hard work out there, was it? Yeah, it was hard work, but it was uh, good to sweat it out, yeah. The mine is one of several businesses owned by the Gumach Aboriginal Corporation, including a concrete batching plant and a timber mill. Now it's driving forward with a new project that is truly out of this world. This land at the back of the mine has been earmarked for the Arnhem Space Base, a joint venture between the Gumach, NASA and Equatorial Launch Australia. Sites have been cleared behind me for three separate launch pads. This remote part of the country considered ideal for sending rockets into orbit. We're, we're now starting to get to the stage of, um, of having the, the designs done and now we're starting to look at the pores yeah, on the slabs itself. The base will create another 25 local jobs, but even before it opens, the Gumarch are closing in on a major milestone. I think the 100 number will probably be, be well in tune by the end of this year. Real jobs putting smiles on the faces of the local Yongu. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Gukula.